Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, steampunk gentlemen. Here again with Bionicle Heroes. Now, I just, <laughs> I believe I almost just erased over my file, so we gotta be a little bit more careful. Also, one issue of small apology. I'm sure I left in the middle of that last episode. A bit of a pause when I have to go check my door. I'll try to be a little bit more careful about that. I was just excited to get these episodes out to you. But the people have spoken. We are going to go decapitate Avok this time. Let's hop on in. Decrypt Dungeons. There's a mask right there. That's a little surprising. Come on, Avok would be the one who would know how to put these together the best. He's an engineer. Alright, Kongu. Oh. Oh, Avok likes to rock. Okay. Okay, I mean, I could have figured that out. You didn't have to point it out to me. Thank you. No, I had a little bit of an embarrassing moment this afternoon. I decided to go to the gym, do some work on my arms, but uh, I forgot that I was supposed to help cover something at work. It's only because I got a message and like, hey man, you ready to do the thing? I was like, oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, I like, cut it short so I get back over there in time. Thankfully, no trouble came of it, but gotta be a little more, a little more careful. As do these spiders. Money. Ah, uh, I gotta be Avok to get in there. Alright, let's head into the depths below. And that is just one word I cannot pronounce very well. Depths. It's a word that never feels like it's being pronounced correctly. I guess it's just one of those situations where like, you just kind of keep psyching yourself out about it. Also, how come I can walk on this water but not like the ankle deep pool of like a river from the previous levels? Is there something up there I did I miss? 
Oh, you're not gonna let me back up? Okay. I wonder if it's possible to do those at all with Val using Matoro if you just aim it well enough. Alright, I don't get those. Like, it's gotta be possible, right? Oh, come on now. You guys just wanna make Matora feel special, huh? Oh, I remember this level. Thank you for the pieces. Oh, hello. I don't think I mentioned this in the episodes, but I'm really, really in the mood to get a Volpa Rock, the, the combiner from 05. Like, I don't know what it is, I just really, really want one. I guess I like it since it kind of has a Xenomorph-like head and just, I like the story of Time Trap where it's from. 
also like, but I've already owned two Kint two Kitongus recently, so I'm like, eh, I don't really want to drop all that money just to get the combiner. So I'm trying to hunt down a Sidorak and a Rodaka. I I see a Sidorak online that should have everything I need. It says incomplete, but looks like it most of it. It was like a basically half built, and the rest was in the bags. Looks like it was just the head and arms in there. I'm having some issues with Vidaka. Like, I found one that would have been for like 26 bucks. A pretty fair price, I'd say. It was one of those you bid on. It's like, okay, so I'll, I'll put a bid on it. But then it does the thing where it immediately, like, as soon as you put in a bid, it immediately jumps up. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is one of the situations where I guess, like, the person who puts up the. Who puts up the, the bid? They set some sort of bot, right? Some sort of bot or something, to immediately vote on it. That way, it kind of jacks up the price, while he's never at any risk. I'm like, man, I can tell what you're doing, and as soon as you do it, it makes me lose all interest in your product. Like, if you want to sell it for a higher price, just list it at a higher price. Don't, don't waste everybody else's time, man. Don't do that. There's also situations of people who try to mislead you by just selling the instruction books, but they charge like twenty to thirty something dollars for them. But then they don't just show a picture of the books; they show a picture of the model or the box. But then it it does say just the instruction booklets. It's like, why are you trying to charge that much for? What do you you try to pull something over on some? Poor person who's not paying enough attention. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. There's no need to be evil. Alright, bye bye, Mr. Rakshi. But yeah, if there's anyone out there who I guess either has a Volparot combiner for sale, or you got Rudaka and Sidorak you were wanting to part with, uh, let me know. Let's see if we can't work some sort of deal out here. Because I really, really want to make this combiner. And I want the official thing. Like, I could probably dig through my bins and make a replica in different colors. But I really want... I want the real deal. Maybe I could do something with it in my series. That's what's that weird sound issue. It just means like is the sound messing up right now? Like I couldn't hear the sounds of him blasting off his weapon. And was that what was supposed to happen? Oh. Alright, yeah, I guess it's time just to regularly fight him.
Yeah, it really feels like the sound's just messed up in this level. There we go. Line it up and skadoosh. And as always, the glory goes to Kongu. Five, not bad. Pan rack. I guess he sleeps with whatever he wants to. Let's get some upgrades. What are you even doing out there, Sarda? If that's even your real name. Fragment. Almost like I him and Holly left over. After one more good level, we should have all that. No, I just, I just want to see where you go. Do you just stand back there in that corner? <laughs> Look at him. He's just, he's just getting funky back there. at him. Also, doesn't he look like an like overgrown teenager right here with how they stretch out his limbs? A little weird. Alright, man. Do your thing. Funky little dude. Also, why did... This doesn't make sense, like, right? Like... He has the desert, but he's Earth, and this, I mean, yeah, I guess a stronghold is made of stone. You no, know, it can be dug out of the rock, but I mean, you know. shouldn't right at be on the ground? Alright. <laughs> Let me in! Another thing I like better about the DS version is, like, you can still choose which one you want to do, but, like, it just shows you on a big map where they're all located, and then it just kind of 
like all the level selects are right there and they just kind of bleed into each other. So unless you decidedly leave to go to the main menu or something, it just immediately puts you into the next one. So I guess that makes it a little more cohesive in a way. There also seem to be way more going on because like I did all the Paraka levels. That is, why is your mouth so polygonal? Polygonal. We thought there was still a lot, lot more to it. So I think, on the whole, I think the DS version might have more gameplay. More bang for your buck. Just controls like ass due to the camera. Limitations. Okay. I really need to go find H Oh, that Huki! You got some building to do. Thank you. And Matora, what are you doing hanging out back here? I like the way they fall over. Just breaks the doors anyways. Alright, anything else to shoot? Thank you. I don't know, what's the big difference between... Or I guess... Ah, this one's like semi-automatic? No? There's just slightly more time space between them. The way Holly's and Jawler's weapon are pretty close in how they perform. Unless there's some nuance I'm not seeing. How do I get over there?
What's with this being a one-way? Crab walk yourself down. Oh, there it or Just walk off, I suppose. I don't know, how do I get there? Hmm. What was wrong with that Vizarek? Alright, I guess just gotta ride it. I just get off now. I'm surprised it took me this long to get the hero mode. Still enjoying myself some tea while I'm playing. Today's been a tea day. What else can I fix and promptly destroy? Oh, I can do this! Balta, not Sarda. Sarda is a... 
That's from Mari Nui. Oh, I guess same mask. If, it, if that is the red one I'm thinking about. Uh, kind of funny that that one just decided to randomly appear after no other enemies have spawned in a while. What is wrong with this AI? No, no, come to me. Ah, oh, uh, we didn't get a 420 that time. So somebody did send me a screenshot of 69420 and I they are the real MVP. Wait, why am I <laughs> That was a little scary. I was like, oh no, I am stuck. I don't want to, have to repeat this level. Alright, that should be all. Let's keep going. Okay. It's going up. Dang, how much more level is there? Thank you for the gold. Still don't like the way they say black, Toa. Let me on the bridge. Wait, no! Thank you. What was that? No ah! Missing out on points.
Oh, they have escaped. Uh, that's not exactly what the boa cocoons look like in the in the story, but I guess close enough. Down we go. I don't know why they stick the pin in be. Alright, I guess maybe those are axles. I don't know why they stick the axle between the actual holes. Like, they're putting it in the straight part. There's no cross there. Okay, so this is the way it continues. And then you go get that little uh, crab walk over here. Thank you. See, it's weird. Some of them you can just walk off, some of them you have to do the crab walk. A lack of consistency, if you ask me. Okay, cool. Final stage for this level. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, what? Do I have to do it twice? Is that it? Well, I guess I gotta squeeze some player time out of me somehow. I'm just dropping mini nukes all over them. Thank you. Alright, guess I'm grabbing it and Kongu gets the glory. That's enough attitude out of you. Avok was my first Paraka. The very first one I had. I used to think he was actually the red one until I actually got the rest of them. I guess because he really does have that, uh, that Hershey Brown to him. Also, what in the world shocked him slash magnetized him? I always thought he jumped up and became electrified. Three silver. One gold.
All right. Let's go and get some upgrades. Although, probably now, I'll be getting some other unlocks as well. Alright, and that is all the Toa powered up. Let's see, what do we want to pick up? Um... You know, I will save these points. You let me know if you want me to start getting these Paraka levels. Or do you want me to save up for these bonus levels? I guess the Cancer Collector. Also, don't know about these hints here. I'll probably get those last. But alright, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more Bionicle Heroes. If you're in the mood for more Bionicle content, check out my playthrough of... Actually, yeah, it, where does this go? Oh wait, I think this is just uh, one of the record halls. Okay, so yeah, I guess these are just the uh, boss unlocks. all my collectibles yep yeah, so if you're in move for more about content check out my series offset's incredulous journey it's uh, inspired by suddenly oranges reviving my uncle series check out the other playlists in my channel I got some I say some pretty good gameplay let's plays I'll be doing streaming on the weekend so be sure to tune in for those until next episode, Steampunk out.